Mike Bars, meteorologist Marcus Bailey, and Anthony Calhoun. Now, News 8 at 10 continues. A fight in Westfield is brewing over one homeowner and the number of pets she has at home. She doesn't deny she's breaking city code, but says she's doing it for good reason. News 8's Eric Feldman was at a zoning board of appeals hearing tonight about this very issue. He joins us live now from Westfield. Eric, good evening. Hey, good evening, Brooke. It was a lengthy meeting, and it all centered around six greyhounds. And for nearly an hour, the board weighed whether or not uh, Julie Robertson should be able to stay in her home, maybe if she'd have to move, or even to keep all of her pets. It doesn't take long to see how Julie Robertson feels about her dogs. Steal your soul and never give it back. Many of these were racing dogs, from litters to a greyhound she once owned. For years, Robertson worked to bring them home. I absolutely, positively believe I saved every one of their lives. She says one was set to be euthanized, another gravely malnourished. Now, Stormy, Brissy, Kiwana, Ketchung, Rihanna, Salem, all under one roof. Sometimes you have to do things, and it doesn't fit neatly into everybody else's categories. But city and the homeowners association rules say you can have at max three pets. That these aren't uh, the concrete patios, and these aren't the colors. You know, that you choose to paint your, your house. These are living beings. Tuesday, she and her lawyer took their case to the Board of Zoning Appeals in Westfield. They want to keep their dogs in their home for two years. She could build another house by then. But not everyone, including neighbors, see it that way. This is not about emotions, this is about facts. Deanna Truitt says the pet waste smell is so bad she sometimes can't sit in her backyard. This is an ongoing problem. It stinks to high heaven. Robertson says that's fixed now. Others, though, fear what precedent any flexibility could create for other dog owners. But Robertson had her supporters, including multiple veterinarians. And after nearly an hour of testimony and questions, how does the story end? To be continued, a recommendation for Robertson to work with her homeowners association to come to an agreement. That continuance is supposed to last 30 days, so we'll maybe have an answer next month. We'll continue to follow the story, of course. Live in Westfield, Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.